Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm going to do a video on United States Steel Corporation. Now this one was quite interesting. Uh, on the last trading day, um, it was up on oh, nearly 15%. Uh, the markets are clearly not open right now. We're seeing a little bit of pre-market trading. Uh, as Today was a holiday of, I believe it was President's Day. Um, so we didn't see any actions in the markets today. Uh, but there's been some quite some pretty interesting news with this company. So basically, what they are is, if you're not aware, they're manufacturing steel. Uh, you can see the description down here. Uh, so just think steel, um, and they're a U.S. company. That's huge. It's huge into it. Uh, if you look through their financials, financials are pretty solid. Um, liking the company, I'm liking the low multiple on it. Um, and as you can see, it's been doing very, very, very well lately uh, with Trump's, uh, you know, nationalistic view on, you know, American made and stuff like that. Um, it's really bolstered the stock. Um, and as you can see here, I mean, with the RSI of 73, we're getting some pretty significant uh, buying pressure. Uh, that's why this has been skyrocketing so much here lately. Uh, but basically the news on why this went up so much on the last trading day was basically just the uh, tariff talk that Trump is talking about. He's basically, uh, you know, flexing his muscles here. Uh, and the big thing, the, the big takeaway I got from this is uh, one of the options where he's saying, you know, tariffs for steel out of the country could be around 53% from Brazil, China, China, Costa Rica, India, Russia, uh, Egypt, Malaysia, South Korea, Thailand, South Africa, Turkey, and Vietnam. <laughs> so it's a pretty big list there. Uh, the big one being China that I'm thinking right now. Um, and so now the news basically has come out that, you know, China has stated that they're going to retaliate. Um, you know, so how are they going to retaliate? Um, it doesn't really seem, you know, it's not, it's not too clear right now. Um, so what I'm kind of wondering right now is how this is going to actually affect the stock tomorrow. Um, I think regardless, I think Trump will continue to posture in this way. And I think we might see that this thing run quite a bit higher. Um, and like I said, I like it's being down long term over here, but I like um, I like where it's at right now. Um, but this one could kind of go one one way or the other tomorrow here before markets open. Um, not too sure, uh, but I think this is one that we should have on our radar. This is one I'm going to be watching. I think I'm probably going to be buying some tomorrow, uh, depending depending what happens in the pre market here. But I wanted to just get a quick video for you guys uh, so you could uh, get a heads up of what's going on and um, maybe leave any thoughts that you have down below about this as well. I'd be very curious to see what you guys think. Um, we'll see what happens in the morning here, and I will see you guys in the next one.